Hi guys, this is Randy, your Rare Metals guy here. Rumors are swirling around the net about what Apple is going to do about the new display for its iPhone 5. We know that it's going to be an IGZO or indium, gallium, zinc, oxygen display. We also know that it will be 4 inches. What I do not know for sure is the manufacturer of the display. Some speculate Sony and Hitachi, and others say Sharp. From what I have been following, it looks like it will be Sharp. Whoever makes the new display, the faithful are bound to be thrilled. These panels are also bound to be used in the next Apple iPad. According to Shuji Sako of Sharp, the IGZO or IGZO LCD panel's performance outclasses anything attainable with conventional amorphous silicon TFT panels. IGZO transistors have mobility of its electrons up to 40 times higher than amorphous silicon thin film transistors. The IGZO transistors can also be made smaller and have the same performance. This helps the display save 30% in energy consumption and higher resolution over the traditional amorphous silicon TFT panels. This display is set to perform at 330 dpi. The IGZO display would also enable the iPhone 5 to be much thinner. The demand for small and mid-sized LCD panels is growing rapidly, putting strains in the supply chain. All you have to do is go to any electronics outlet and see the many LCD products available. What many tech blogs fail to say is that this amazing growth also puts strain on the natural resource supply chain. The technology needs indium, gallium, and zinc. Two of these metals have been deemed to be at critical level levels according to the British Geological Survey and the US Geological Survey. These are indium and gallium. Over 95% of these rare industrial or technical metals are supplied by China. Even if the prices of these metals go up 100%, the end user will see a very small price increase because such a small amount of these metals are used in each device. And if you'd like to know more information, please contact me or contact the guys at SwissMetalAssets.com.